Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm just going to give you a quick tip on how to get some nice soft cheesecloth um, ready to embellish on your journals or any of your paper projects. Now I've got two different cheesecloths here. I've got this one which is quite a very hard one. This is um, this one that I brought. Let me just take the label out. Um, which is a grade 19 it's an unbleached cotton one um, which is a really nice one um, but when you get it home you'll probably look at it and think oh don't like that at all um, and I've also got this one which is an open weave I think I've threw the packaging away for this one um, so I'm not quite sure what this weave or anything is um, but um, I wanted to show you how you can soften it up to make it look like these now this is what you want to pop under your lovely work, isn't it? Um, so when you get this home, like this, that's um, you sort of look at it and think, oh, I don't like that at all. That's exactly how I thought when I, it came through the post. And then I've got it to this lovely stage. Now it is really, really simple. And that's what you want um, for your lovely embellishments. And this one again is really nice because um, it's all just nice. I quite like the white at the moment. I'm quite liking the, the white. It's looking nice and fresh. So I'm just going to show you how simple it is to get it to that stage. So I've got two little pieces here. I normally cut mine, um, the harder stuff like this, into little sort of like manageable um, squares or rectangles like that. Um, and then you haven't got a great big piece. So all as I do, you take that. This piece is the same size. Okay, so that is the same size piece. And all as I did, I've screwed it up into a ball like that. And you want to soften it. So you want to pop it into your hands and really, really rub it hard like that. Just rub it. Because it's. I think it's sort of like got some... Um, um, something to sort of like keep it, you know, nice and flat. It might have some um, hardener on it or something like that. I'm not sure that whether they iron it or and make it really sort of like flat, but we don't like it like that, do we? We like it all scrunched up. So pop it in there, look at that. How simple is that? So the heat from your hands um, just makes it go all lovely and crinkly and it almost sort of like shrinks up. The little fibers almost like shrink up because that's what it was like. So I just love it like this. Um, so you just scrunch it. It's easier to roll it than just, because I normally do this, um, but for on that one, but that's just sort of like flattening it out a bit more. But if you just like really give it a good roll in between your hands, it comes out lovely. And I find it easier to, um, dye it when it's like this than like this. It doesn't seem to want to take the color very well. Um, so I think we sort of like break up the fibers a little bit um, and it takes the color really, really well. And I'm just loving it. So if you've got some of this hard one, that's what you want to do. And this one, again, you do the same thing because it's really hard to use when it's like this. This is almost like gauze, I think. So just do the same thing, pop it in your hand and the heat of your hand um, and probably some of the sort of like oils from your hand, just soften it up lovely. And it just gives you that lovely sort of look that you want from cheesecloth, that sort of like shabby look. And again, it's easier to, um, I think I find it easier to, it takes the colour a lot better. So what other you're going to sort of like dye it with, I find it takes the colour a lot, lot better. So that's it guys, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I've had lots of questions about hard cheesecloth and how I make it soft. So there we go. Just a quick little tip on how I do it. So very, very simple. But if you've got a big bag, if you've got a big sort of like thing of it like this, I think this was um, two yards, which is 18 square feet. So that's quite a nice um, pack of it there. So I just cut it up into manageable squares like this um, and it's so much easier to use and then you can just colour it however you like or colour them um, same colour or tea stain them but it's lovely. So there we go guys, well thank you so much for joining me.
Please stay safe, take care and have fun crafting. Alright guys, bye bye.